well. So the future of Chinese Bevan is looking bright. Yeah, we've got a nice mix, obviously, Fun. with some very Ladies and gentlemen, stars. the mixed and doubles final. Guns. And that includes in this the mixed doubles pairings. As I say, an old Chinese affair. Zheng Siwei and Chen Qingchen, the two teenagers who have won everything at junior level. They're the ones in the pink up against Wu Xiaowu and Xie Huan, who will be in the blue. So there's Zheng Siwei. He's 18, but he's older than his uh, female partner, who is uh, only 17, Chen Qingchen. Here she is in another final, two wins already this year for this day. Time for a pre-match photo with the uh, match officials. Jean-Philippe Berge and uh, you know, your shot there, Justin Zurk. So things set up nicely, Oliver. First of all, this, mi this mixed doubles match, an all Chinese affair. Both saw off Indonesian pairs yesterday. They know each other very well. They practice against each other a lot, but this is their first time meeting in competition. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that unfolds. Obviously, both pairs have been in great form this week with Jian Yu knocking out the second seeds from Singapore in the first round, and then uh, their opposition, Zeng and, and Chen, beating the top seeds from Indonesia yesterday in the semi final. So, your umpire there, Jean Philippe Berge of uh, New Caledonia, doing the uh, Pre-match wrist draws, the uh, toss of a coin to decide who's standing, which side of the court, who serves first. It doesn't really matter, does it? Not, not today, not in here. It's uh, perfect conditions for play, and uh, yeah, but I think it'll bring the best out of both sides. Because if this was a, an arena that had a lot of drift, then you would want to be a certain end, wouldn't you? Absolutely, yeah. You'll see certain players do different things um, based on the wind or the draft, and it depends if the drift's going sideways then it's okay, but if it's from one end to another, there can quite often be a, a preferred end to start the match. Well, they are seeded number five, Shen and Chen, despite their age. Obviously, being a scratch pairing, ooh, and a share unseeded, but yeah, it's going to be a tough one to call. When uh, you train against one another, lot, you know each other's strengths, you know each other's weaknesses, you know what to exploit, but then so do the opposition, don't they? And uh, look at this young girl, Chen Jing Chen. What a talent she is. 17 years of age. The current world and Asian junior champion in mixed doubles with Zhang Chien Sin, who's uh, in the final of the women's doubles later. They're not paired together here this week, but she is some prospect, isn't she? As you can see, they're already ranked 50 together in the world, despite the fact this is only their sixth tournament together. They've won twice. Yeah, with a career win loss of 16-3 already, it's a, looking forward to a pretty good future from, from these two. Well, you bear in mind what she's won at junior level as well. It, uh, it has been an extraordinary rise, and this is how they got here. Tough match yesterday uh, against the uh, Indonesian pair of uh, Ricky Widianto and uh, against Dilly, but they came through 21-11. Uh, Winnie Anto got a red card in that match, by the way, for some misconduct. That was in the final game, so no surprisingly, they came through that pretty comfortably in the end. Yeah, that's a, a great result for them, especially at such a young age, to beat a pair that's been top 15 in the world for, for a consistent period now. Jing Si Wei, one of the senior partner at the age of 18. And obviously, uh, the stats there are all very similar, but he, he's also done pretty well at junior level, won the Asia junior title in last year alongside Huang Kaixiang, who we'll see later in the men's doubles as well. So there's obviously a, a feeling within the Chinese camp that these two that we've just seen have a, a great future ahead of them. As for this, well, the, these are the senior two, so even though they're the scratch pairing, so more experience at this kind of level, but obviously not together. Can they? finish their first tournament as a pair with a victory. I think that's a real possibility, yeah, that we, the form we saw them show yesterday in the, in the semi-final against the Indonesians, Kido and Piers of Adaya. Uh, they, were, they were clinical, they were dangerous from the back line. Xiaohan, very dangerous on the net as well, so it's, yeah, the future looks bright for them as well, even though they're a scratch pairing. Well, Sha is particularly the experienced one, isn't she? 
23 years of age, but you know she's already won a lot of tournaments at Super Series level. We're going to see her later in the in the women's doubles as well, partnered with Zhang Xian Sing in match number four against the Japanese. But as you can see, as you said Ladies yesterday, excellent against the brother sister right, combination. Yu they can do that again today. They're going to be Xia tough to beat. Huan, China. And on my left, Cheng Suwei, Cheng Qingcheng, China. <laughs> you shall you to serve to Cheng Suwei. Bravo. Play. The Sky City New Zealand Open finals are underway. It's mixed doubles first, an all Chinese affair. And the first point goes to the teenagers. Service over. One long. Service over. One all. Yeah, when you have these uh, affairs where obviously they've been practicing together all week ahead of the final, not knowing they would meet in the final, obviously hoping they might. You normally see quite close affairs, Two, don't you? Because one. the rallies can be longer, although the first three points haven't suggested that, have they? Yeah, I mean, it, it does depend how well they know each other. If they do know each other extremely well, sometimes you can see shorter rallies because people just know, know what's coming. But oh. I think key for this afternoon will be Xia Huan. If she Service can over. take and use her experience Two, to take the net and control that over Chen, then they'll much likely come out better off. Well, her serve just now uh, coming up short. Nice power from the back of the court for Zheng. Three, two. played mixed doubles a lot are you trying to get the players out of position normally obviously it's the woman at the front as you can see share they're trying to move to the net and the, the guys at the back so obviously with the more power are you trying to work them out absolutely yeah I mean uh, against any mixed doubles pair they're most dangerous when the girls are at the front so if you can put her on the back line it's much easier to defend and also be able to counter attack at the same time so it's, it's all it's chess in a way I thought it was badminton. Oh. <laughs> I know. Physical, you physical version. <laughs> Four, three. Oh. No, I mean, when, once you've got the girl at the back line, you've, you've often got a lift as well, so it's a matter of being able to keep the lift and then actually turn it around so you can get the girl in the net and the increased power of the guy at the back. Oh. Well... Uh, ooh, bound to be uh, some Five, nerves. Three. Yesterday he looked very comfortable in the semi-final, but you know, bear in mind he's not had much experience at international level. This is only his fifth tournament, third of this year. The other three, despite the fact they've got a 17 and an 18-year-old at the other end, they do have more experience at this level. Ah. Ah. And, uh, yeah, that just puts it wide there. That's crazy when you put it like that that a, a 17 Six, and an 18-year-old have more experience at this level, but. I think from <coughs> from you and Xia yesterday, they were quite comfortable and straight away they're under a bit more pressure today, so it'll be interesting to see how he can respond. I mean, this pair is Chen and Zheng. I mean, the China Open, their first Super Series event together. They beat Tintawi Ahmed and Lilian Natsir together. I mean, that's how good they are. Well, that's how good their potential is as well. Yeah, it's crazy to be able to beat some number two, three in the world at, at 17 and 18 in your first tournament together. I mean, wow. And they only lost in the quarters to Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei in the semis, but they took the opening game 22-20 in that as well. So that was against the Olympic and world champions. Does that make them favourites today? Well, I mean, you would say so. so. I mean, Four, but I think you're seven. right in what you point out in terms of not him necessarily. He's the one with the nerves here, but Cher at the front of the court. If she can dominate the net, I think they've got a chance. Otherwise. Yeah, I do make the teenagers favourite. Ah! 
Yeah, well read there from you. Five, he, uh, seven. Realized that Chen could only play that one short and came forward with, with good pace to draw the cross court winner. That. Six, seven. A little tense that shot from Zheng. Very early stage, it's pretty even start. <laughs> Service over. Eight. Six. Crowd love a little power, a lot of power, don't they? Got it there. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's an excellent touch from Chen. Obviously, Nine, with Zheng, so much power at the back. The other two were pretty deep, weren't they? And that's why she was allowed to exploit that gap. Yeah, it was nice to be disguised as well. Impressed by what you've seen so far? Definitely, especially from Chen. She's really not letting Shua get anywhere close to the net. Ah, that was easy pickings. Uh, you can see teammates asking... <laughs> Ten, a little bit six. of an apology. I mean, that seems standard fare, isn't it? It's about a little bit of respect and sportsmanship. Yeah, that's, that's what it's mainly about. Is I wouldn't, I don't think it hurts. What to apologise or to hurt from, 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 from the shuttle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, another Eleven, easy six. picking for Chen, and it's quite a good lead that the teenagers have established here, very early part, of course, of this final, but Zheng Siwen and Chen Ching Chen already 11-6 to the good. Yeah, they've just been too good in the front front two-thirds of the court early on. I think you've seen Chen, like I said before, just dominating the net. There's no way that Jack can, can get in there, and we've seen you smash maybe once or twice in, in the 11-point period, so that's going to have to change if they want to get back in this match. The thing they got on their side, these two, is they'll be aware that they're playing an inexperienced duo. Now, if you look at the matches already that Chen, uh, Chen Ching Chen and Zheng Siwei have already played, seconds, they've let lead seconds. slip. They did it yesterday in the uh, semi-final. In the quarter-final, they had two match points, ended up losing the second game to uh, the top seeds uh, as well yesterday. They will ended up 11, losing that second game 22-20. So if they can maybe play. put them under a bit of pressure, maybe they... They might well, given the fact that, you know, this is a, another big final for them so young. Oh, excellent rally. Great reactions as well from Cher there. Because they didn't look favourites to win that point, did they? Seven. No, there was, a, there was a, yeah, just a bit of a clear exchange going on be between the girls, and then Jia played one a little bit too far down the middle, allowing Huang to get back there and, and get the offence, but did very well to turn it around. Oh, it was good. I can see why he was leaving that. There. It looked for a little while as Eight, if it was going to head out, but the fact there's no drift in this court at all, it just landed right on the line. Good rally, though. The rallies are starting to, to pick up a pace now, aren't they? Got away with that. I think you... I see what he's Nine, trying to do. He doesn't want to spend too much time on the defensive, but... Be a little bit careful with shots like that, especially against the pair that have the results in the resume already that Cheng and uh, Zheng have. Yeah, but decent response though from uh, Wu and Xie since the interval. They've won the three points since the resumption. Oh. 
defensive shot was exactly what he was after, but Cross Court Slicer might have been a little ambitious. 12, and of course, being an all Chinese affair, there's no coaches, is there, for this? Obviously, that won't be the case when we have all the other finals, but just basically got to rely on one another. Yeah, absolutely. They're almost they're left to their own, no. own devices to, to fight this one out. So I'm sure it'll be an interesting one for the coaches, for their coaches to watch as well. They can sit back and, and see how the match changes and, and develops as it goes on. a decent start from Uwen Share after the interval but the lead's back to five points again now service over 10 to start the afternoon's finals this is proving to be this uh, mixed doubles match we're really seeing a fine array of shot making aren't we yeah i think both pairs are really starting to get into this match now you see in that rally from from Jao, there's a real intent to try and move forward and take over she hasn't been allowed to do that by chin yet but she's making a real effort to do that now Well, there they are. Have to stick on to the sidelines. They're not allowed in the corner. Well, there's enough coaches around. I suppose they could have one each corner, but not the way it's done. Good. Service over. 15-11. come to these events and obviously 16, it's a Grand Prix 11. gold level you're not seeing the highest ranked players in the world but you're seeing kind of the level below and sometimes you get to see players that in three four years time will be amongst the top five in the world and you just get the feeling what I don't know about you Oliver watching these two in pink at the other end that you know maybe we're seeing some somebody of that quality here yeah I think you're absolutely right I mean they've, they've proven already that they can compete 17. with 11. Top five pairs in the world have taken sets off Zhang Nan, Zhao Yanlei. They've beaten Ahmad Natsia already at the tender age of 17 and 18. It's, it's scary to think how good these guys want, might end up being. And there's a maturity there. For example, you know, that shot just now from uh, Zheng at the back. 18, it's so easy for 11. him to just rip through it and, and smash it. But he had the, you know, the knowledge of his game to think, no, that's not the right time. Let's mix it up. <laughs> nice response there, though, from Wu. But you don't often see that, do so you, with players are that young? No, it's just he has this, this air of confidence and uh, just inner confidence about him that, yeah, you're able to play a shot like that and just know that it's going to be okay and you can get the next one um, and still keep the offense as well. Oh, 
Excellent. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, Zheng and, so and Chen doing a really good job here of just exposing 19, a scratch pairing. 12. There's a lot of empty space in the front court and they seem to be finding it quite a lot. And that's something when you haven't played together much before, you don't know how each other moves and what they're going to cover after after they play certain shots. I'm talking from experience, your last three events have been with new partners, haven't they? Look yep, that. that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> Although they've had a few 20, matches now this week to, you know, to find 12. a rhythm together, but here they are in this final now facing eight game points against them because we have seen some wonderful badminton from the teenagers, Zheng and Chen. around the back it was well left by Cher <laughs> but it's uh, a case of winning this game well if, if that's the uh, scoring at the, uh, so that we can see correction. and actually given so them the game over. but not yet 13 all in good time 20. though So when you're at, like, at the moment for sharing, I suppose there's a, a remote chance you can get back into the game. It's very unlikely. Is it just trying to build confidence now? Yeah, I guess that when you're in a situation where you've got, where you started with eight match points, uh, game points, sorry, against you, you want to try and get at least two or three, and you can get a little bit of momentum heading into the start of the second. But that's Go where ahead. it ends. And you have to say, it's been a wonderful performance from Chen Ching Chen and her partner Zheng Si Well, they've taken that first game very convincingly against their compatriots. 21 points to 14. It's it, it's just a, a mature, convincing. Excellent performance, isn't it, from two very young players that we saw in that opening game. I agree, yeah. It's mature it really is the word. It's in the mixed doubles that they're playing this afternoon. I think we see from Chen just not giving Zha any opportunities to come forward and, and take the net. And as a result, they're doing the majority of the attack. And then it's it also, also mature from, from Zeng. He's, he's able to just control. He's very patient on defense, which we're not seeing from, from you. He always wants to play these little chip shots into the midcourt that are still going up and he's, he's playing with fire a little bit there where Zeng's just happy to give the lift up keep Zia on the back line where, she, where he knows that they're not going to be that dangerous well we're going to see uh, her big chow in the women's singles in, in a little while i'll tell you she's some talent as well although obviously we should see how it pans out in her final against Saina kawakami but we already know there's been a certainly a theme established already in the mixed doubles final can Wu Xiaowu and Xie Huan retrieve the situation again. They put some pressure on the youngsters in the way that Ricky Widiano and Fispita Diddy were able to yesterday. Before, obviously, red card issues 20 came along. Seconds, 20 seconds. Well, if they maintain this, the standard Zheng Si Wei, Chen Ching Chen, it's hard on over, isn't it, to see a reversal of the fortunes hit. Play. Yeah, it's been very clinical so far. That's all right. Good start for you and Zhu are there, though. Service over. One low. Service over. One all. Ah! 
net court there going the way of you and Ja. Two, one. It's been given us out. Service over. Two. Oh. It was a close one, wasn't it? It was touch and go, yeah. You thought it was going to be in, I think. Three. Two. advantage in this second game Zheng and Chen five two a bit of frustration from you when you put that in the net Thanks. well obviously you know if, if, if they practice together they train together these two, they must be very aware of what we're seeing here right now is that there's some talented badminton at the other end of the court. Absolutely, mate. I think, and that's probably what's causing a little bit of frustration. They know that they've perhaps beaten them in training, in training matches, and they know that they can maybe get closer than, than what the score is at the moment. Six, two. Because it really is one-way traffic. And we're at the stage now in the, in Seven, the match where, two. even though it's uh, not, not long on court, 21 minutes, you, you kind of know where the prizes are going here. You never know, I suppose. It's sport is a funny way of throwing up big surprises, but it, it would be a huge surprise if Jenny ah. Chen didn't go on from here and take the goal. Although, a little, little bit of luck goes against them. <laughs> then it could Three, throw things a, a little bit back towards their uh, opponent's favour. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the bit, bit of luck to win that point, but I like that from you, it's the, a different return of service, give it away, put Zhang on the back line, create a bit more space, and Some luck again. Uh, another, another little net, net cord that goes their way. Four, You've got to hang in there seven. and see what happens. There, didn't he, Jen? No! This time the net court didn't go their way. Service over. Eight, four. Watched and uh, uh Chen just four. so quick, wasn't she, to pounce there? Why are the first three shots in these rallies so important? Then they, they always say that about doubles, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's such a situation where you can uh, great shot there from, from Zhuar, but if you can come out of the first three so in an offensive over. position, 
I think you're much more likely Five, to win the rally. Is. There was a stat released, I think it was men's doubles, but there's a bit of crossover there that 80% of the time the side that gets the attack first uh, will win the rally. So if you can come out of that on top in the first three, um, then you're much more likely to win the point. Service over. Ten. Can't five. afford that at this stage, can they? Not a game down and now five, ten down. Great shot there from from Jarvis. Service over. Six. Six. Getting look from Chen, ten. but they're not going to get hot under the collar, are they? With the score line like it is right now. Chen and Chen, so good there. Gives them the interval lead, 11-6. Yeah, we're just seeing a lot more, a lot more control, and it, just a half a pace ahead all the time from from Jing and Chen. They're just into position that little bit faster than Jia and Yu at the moment, and that's allowing them to to control more. Especially Zheng, he's more controlled and more composed of the of the two men on court Chen, this afternoon. Chen. We see you rushing forward sometimes, leaving spaces behind him to, that Zha has to go back and, and cover, whereas we don't see that uh, with Jing and Chen. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Ah, they're enjoying it, aren't they? Seems like someone's been coming around and giving out the, the extreme uh, crowd banger, so expect the atmosphere to heat up a little bit in here. Eleven six. Play. Well, surely they are going to go on from here. It would be uh, a third tournament win in only their sixth tournament together for Zheng Siwei and Chen Jing Chen and a game up six point lead in the second game I think they're going to be denied 50% strike ratio that'll be that's not too bad a start to a career together on Six. the wall for sure now and of course uh, at least a chance later on for Cher to still come away with goal of course she's in the women's doubles later 15 6 showing off now yeah oh, there's an exa another example though of, of you just trying to do a bit too much and 16 really six. trying to, to get the offensive and just ended up putting his partner in even more trouble Seven points in a row. Ah, 
<laughs> Saw it coming, didn't she? Yeah, it's just far too easy for, for Chen that. She, she's 18, there waiting for it, and you put it cross court right into a racket. All coming rather easy for them now. 19 6 resistance well and truly broken. These two, the beaten pair. Five. And there are match 20. points, much points. 30 minutes is Six. all it's taken to bring them, and 14 match points at that. <laughs> There was a bit of disgust about the way we Service played that. Seven, twenty. Maybe one thing you can talk about with them after the match. Hey! Hey! And that's delaying the inevitable, isn't it? Eight, twenty. It really is. It's been, been very clean and, and very clinical this afternoon from Cheng and Zeng. sensations haven't they quite brilliant performance from Zheng Siwei and his partner Chen Ching Chen from start to finish they just looked unbeatable there were no answers at all for Mu Xiao that's won by Chen Siwei Chen Ching Chen 21 14 24 21 8 21 14 21 8 it doesn't come much more comprehensive than that in a final. They're the New Zealand Open champions. Well, we, we, we said it all pretty much on the in the match. That was uh, a classy, you know, top class performance, wasn't it, from these two? It really was. The, they, yeah, they showed why they can compete um, with the best pairs in the world and an incredible maturity, I think, and understanding of, of mixed doubles from a pair that is such so of such a young age and one would assume they can only get better that's a scary prospect isn't it it really is if, if yeah you're winning Grand Prix goals finals like that in that, that sort of comfortable fashion you've already had success against the best pairs in the world and like I said yeah 17 and 18 they've got a long and prosperous career ahead of them well they won the Bitburger Open in, in October that was their first tournament together as a pair this year they've already won the China International Challenge and now they've won the New Zealand Open, so that's three victories in six events together. It's a very impressive strike rate already. And they're going to get used to having to collect some prizes, aren't they, over the coming months and years, if they can maintain and maybe even improve on that standard. So obviously we're waiting for the uh, players to come out and get their prizes and Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation for the Mixed Doubles Final at the Sky City New Zealand Open. Our presenters, Geraldine Brown, President Oceania Badminton, Vice President, Badminton World Federation, and Nigel Skelt, Vice President, Oceania Badminton, and Chair of the Marketing Committee, Badminton World Federation. Our runners-up in the Mixed Doubles, Please welcome from China, Yu Xiaoyu and Jia Huan. And our winners of the mixed doubles from China, Sheng Siwei and Chen Sheng Chen.
Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the mixed doubles here at the Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open. Well, a third tournament title together and the third of many more to come, you feel, don't you? Fantastic display from the teenage duo, Cheng Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Chen are ready to talk to Stephen right now. Let's hear from them. How quickly that final went. They never imagined that it could be so fast. And but but they did a good preparation for the tough game. Cheng, uh, right from the start, it looked like the game plan was just to try and dominate right from the start. Thank you, and, and here, here, here will, she will uh, fight, fighting and uh, keep going. Does it, does it feel good? Very good. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. It's crazy when you put it like that, that a, a 17 and an 18 year old have, have more experience at this level, but I think from <coughs> from you and Xia yesterday, they were quite comfortable and straight away they're under a bit more pressure today. So it'll be interesting to see how he can respond. I mean, this pair is Chen and Zhang. I mean, the China Open, their first Super Series event together. They beat Tintawi Ahmed and Lilian and that's it together. I mean, that's how good they are. Well, that's how good their potential is as well. Yeah, it's crazy to be able to beat Seven, number two, three, three in the world at, at 17 and 18 in your first tournament together. I mean, wow. And they only lost in the quarters to Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei in the semis, but they took the opening game 22 20 in that as well. So that was against the Olympic and world champions. Does that make them favourites today? Well, I mean, you would say so. so. I mean, Four, but I think you're seven. right in what you point out in terms of not him necessarily, he's the one with the nerves here, but Cher at the front of the court. If she can dominate the net, I think they've got a chance. Otherwise, yeah, I do make the teenagers favourite. Yeah, well read there from you. Five, he, uh, seven. Realised that Chen could only play that one short and came forward with, with good pace to draw the cross court winner. Chen, what a talent she is. 17 years of age, the current world and Asian junior champion in mixed doubles with Zhang Qianxin, who's uh, in the final of the women's doubles later. They're not paired together here this week, but she is some prospect, isn't she? As you can see they're already ranked 50 together in the world, despite the fact this is only their sixth tournament together. They've won twice. Yeah, with a career win loss of 16-3 already, it's a, looking forward to a pretty good future from, from these two. Well, you bear in mind what she's won at junior level as well. It, uh, it has been an extraordinary rise. And this is how they got here. Tough match yesterday uh, against the uh, Indonesian pair of uh, Ricky Widianto and uh, against Dilly, but they came through 21-11. Uh, Widianto got a red card in that match, by the way, for some misconduct. That was in the final game, so no surprisingly, they came through that pretty comfortably in the end. Yeah, that's a, a great result for them, especially at such a young age, to beat a pair that's been top 15 in the world for, for a consistent period now. Jing Si Wei, one of the senior partner at the age of 18. And obviously, uh, the stats there are all very similar, but he, he's also done pretty well at junior level, won the Asia junior title in last year alongside Huang Kaixiang, who we'll see later in the men's doubles as well. So there's obviously... Uh, And our winners of the mixed doubles from China, Sheng Siwei and Chen Sheng Chen.
Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the mixed doubles here at the Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open. Well, a third tournament title together and the third of many more to come, you feel, don't you? Fantastic display from the teenage duo, Zheng Shiwei and Zheng Qingzhen are ready to talk to Stephen right now. Let's hear from him. How quickly that final went. They never imagined that could be so fast. And but but they did a good a preparation for the tough game. Ching, uh, right from the are in this final now facing eight game points against them because we have seen some wonderful badminton from the teenagers, Zheng and Chen. Quite happy just to push Jia around the back. It was well left by Xia. But it's uh, a case of winning this game. Well, if, if that's the uh, scoring at the, uh, that we can see, it actually given them the game, but not yet. All in good time, though. So when you're at, like, at the moment for sharing, 20, I suppose there's a, a remote chance you can get back into the game. It's very unlikely. Is it just trying to build confidence now? Yeah, I guess that when you're in a situation where you've got, we you started with eight match points, uh, game points, sorry, against the wise. Yeah, I do make the teenagers favourite. Ah! Yeah, well read there from you. Five, yeah. seven. Realised that Chen could only play that one short and came forward with, with good pace to pull a cross court winner. Yeah, uh, just that. Uh, Six, seven. A little tense that shot from Zheng. Very early stage. It's pretty even start. Service over. Eight, six. Crowd love a little power, a lot of power, don't they? Got it there. Ah. Oh, that's an excellent touch from Chen. Obviously, Nine, with Zheng, so much power. Eight, four. Eight, four. Well watched. And uh, uh, Nine, Cheng, just four. so quick, wasn't she, to pounce there. Why are the first three shots in these rallies so important then? They, they always say that about doubles. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's such a situation where you can. Well, great shot there from, from Zhuar, but if you can come out of the first three so in an offensive over. position, 
I think you're much more likely Five, to win the rally. Is. Nine. There was a stat released, I think it was men's doubles, but there's a bit of crossover there that 80% of the time the side that gets the attack first uh, will win the rally. So if you can come out of that on top in the first three, um, then you're much more likely to win the point. Service over. Depend how well they know each other. If they do know each other extremely well, sometimes you can see shorter rallies because people just know know what's coming. But I think key for this afternoon will be Xia Huan. If she Service can over. take and use her experience oh. to take the net and control that over Chen, then they'll much likely come out better off. Well, her serve just now coming up short. from the back of the court for him, Zheng. Three, two. You played mixed doubles a lot. Are you trying to get the players out of position? Normally, obviously, it's the woman at the front, as you can see, Cher, they're trying to move to the net. And the, the guys at the back, so obviously, with the more power. Are you Three, trying to work them four. out? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, against any mixed doubles pair, they're most dangerous when the girls are at the front. So if you can put her on the back line, it's much easier to defend and also be able to counter-attack at the same time. So it's, it's all, it's chess, in a way. I thought it was badminton. <laughs> <laughs> I know Physi you Physical version. <laughs> Four, three. Oh. No, I mean, when, once you, yeah, I think both pairs are really starting to get into this match now. You see in that rally from, from Jao, there's a real intent to try and move forward and take over. She hasn't been allowed to do that by Chen yet, but she's making a real effort to do that now. Well, there they are. Have to stick on to the sidelines. They're not allowed in the corner. Well, there's enough coaches around. I suppose they could have one each corner, but not the way it's done. Good. Service over, 15, 11. You know, you, you come to these events and obviously 16, it's a Grand Prix 11. gold level, you're not seeing the highest ranked players in the world, but you're seeing kind of the level below and sometimes you get to see players that in three, four years time will be amongst the top five in the world and you just get the feeling, what, I don't know about you, I'll be watching these two in pink at the other end that, you know, maybe we're seeing some somebody of that quality here. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, they've, they've proven already that they can compete 17, with 11. top five pairs in the world of uh, with Jing and Chen. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Ah, they're enjoying it, aren't they? Yeah, it seems like someone's been coming around and giving out the, the extreme uh, crowd banger, so expect the atmosphere to heat up a little bit in here. Eleven six. Play. Well, surely they are going to go on from here. It would be uh, a third tournament win in only their sixth tournament together. For Zheng Siwei and Chen Jingjian. And a game up, six-point lead in the second game. Twelve, I think they're going to be denied. 50% strike ratio, that'll be. That's not too bad a start to... Uh, a career together.
He can't believe it. Really good rally again. And the movement from Chen and Zheng so good there. It gives them the interval lead, 11-6. Yeah, we're just seeing a lot more, a lot more control, and it's just a half a pace ahead all the time from from Jing and Chen. They're just into position that little bit faster than Jia and Yu at the moment, and that's allowing them to to control more. Especially Jing, he's more controlled and more composed of the of the two men on court Chen, this afternoon. Chen, Chen. We see Yu rushing forward sometimes, leaving spaces behind him to that Jia has to go back and, and cover, whereas we don't see that uh, with Jing and Chen. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Ah, they're enjoying it, aren't they? Yeah, it seems like someone's been coming around and giving out the, the extreme uh, crowd banger, so expect the atmosphere to heat up a little bit in here. Eleven six. Play. Prizes are going here. You never know, I suppose. It's sport is a funny way of throwing up big surprises, but it, it would be a huge surprise if Jen and Chen didn't go on from here and take the goal. Although a little, little bit of luck goes so against so them, <laughs> then it could Three, throw things a, a little bit back towards their uh, opponent's favour. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the. Bit, bit of luck to win that point, but I like that from you. It's the, a different return of service, give it away, put Zhang on the back line, create a bit more space. And luck again. Uh, another, another little net, net cord that goes their way. Four, You've got to hang in there seven. and see what happens. There, didn't he, Jen? <laughs> this time the net called didn't go their way. Service over. Eight four. Service over. Ten fourteen. Just long. Another really good rally. 11 14. Well, what a really good way to start the afternoon's finals. This is proving to be this uh, mixed doubles match. We're really seeing a fine array of shot making, aren't we? Yeah, I think both pairs are really starting to get into this match now. You see in that rally from, from Jao, there's a real intent to try and move forward and take over. She just hasn't been allowed to do that by Chen yet, but she's making a real effort to do that now. Well, there they are. Have to stick on to the sidelines. They're not allowed in the corner. Well, there's enough coaches around. I suppose they could have one each corner, but not the way it's done. Good. 